First up in news, CBC in Canada announced it has greenlit a new straight-to-series adaptation of Lucy Maud Montgomery's classic children's novel, Anne of Green Gables, loved by the freckle-having author Emma Hooper. It's going to be written by Emmy Award-winning writer Moira, Moira? Moira Wally Beckett. Wally Beckett's best known for her epic, award-winning Breaking Bad episode, Ozymandias. Eight episodes of Anne of Green Gables will air on Canada's CBC in 2017. If you don't know the story of Anne of Green Gables, it's about... And Wally Beckett has this to say about the adaptation. Anne's issues are contemporary issues. Feminism, prejudice, bullying, and the desire to belong. The stakes are high, and her emotional journey is tumultuous. We're in. Though the real reason we covered this story, an excuse to point out Wally Beckett's brilliant Twitter handle, at YoWallyB, which all hyphenates should emulate going forward. Uh, what excites you more, the Chicago Cubs win the World Series or Donald Trump getting his wrong? Donald Trump admitting he's wrong. A phrase I, I am focused on lately is attention-seeking missile. I feel like the whole world is full of people who are attention-seeking missiles just shooting at each other, trying to get attention. The whole world is all about attention now. You know, I, I always say that, you know, like, I have attention surplus disorder, I just want people to leave me the fuck alone. Actually, that's a better one. Attention surplus disorder. There you go. The most influential film of my life, it falls somewhere between Midnight Cowboy, The Graduate, and Annie Hall. Um, I would have to say The Graduate just because I really like the melancholiness about it with the humor thrown in, you know, and it was like at a time when all youth seemed to be feeling a little dis disaffected. The Graduate was the ultimate story of a young person feeling alienated, you know, so it really was something that everyone could relate to, which kind of blows me away, you know, because I know so many people for whom, you know, Star Wars is the signpost in their lives, and, you know, it's a fine piece of you know, fantasy filmmaking, but it has absolutely really nothing to do with anybody's actual life. You know, and but although they throw out all that Joseph Campbell stuff at you to kind of justify it, but I just can't imagine having a movie be that unrealistic and that much of a fantasy and really impact your life, but that's me. Today in Literature of Today was February 3rd. Arkansas passes a motion to pray for the soul of noted sinner H.L. Mencken, author of Treatise on the Gods, in 1931. Mencken once said, Puritanism, the haunting fear that someone somewhere may be happy. LDM Book Report. It's like opening the great novel that you've always loved your entire life for the first time. Every week. Subscribe now.